soon we're going to have flower season on the mountains. So here's a little list of what we kind of oops have up in the big horns. Hold on. I should have got my tripod out. Sorry. And we do have quite a few of these. Love the mountain bluebells. They're usually by the creeks. I'm just gonna pick up uh, pick out a couple that I see quite often up here. The Duncan Larkspear is another one. Now I've seen quite a few of these, but some of them like up in the bighorns more than others. Um, seen this one quite a bit up in the bighorns. Try to go slow and not shake this. Sorry, guys. The elephant head. Seen those quite a few times. The shooting star a lot. Those are pretty. And I will be going up and showing you guys the flowers. Soon to bloom up on the mountain. And I'm going to catch it right at the peak. I don't care if it's sunny or not, I'm going up there. It's supposed to have the next couple days really nice weather. Now I don't know why they're calling it sticky paintbrush because our state flower is the Indian paintbrush and maybe that's because of the name. You know how that is anymore. They change names because people are offended. Oh you know, yeah, we have cactus. Quite a bit of cactus around here. What I'm not seeing is the bitterroot. Yep, we have the combine. And the yellow bells. And the yellow pond lilies are cool. Usually high up in the mountain lakes. And we do have the western baneberry. Okay, I don't see the yellow bitterroot. Strange. And I don't see, did I miss the yellow um, or the white yarlow? We have lots of yarlow up here, usually in white and yellow. Maybe these names are different than what <clears throat> we call them around here. Not sure about that. Yeah, and the lupine. That's what we're going to see a lot of is lupine. And... I'm not seeing lupine on here. Not unless they're calling it something else. Purple lupine. I'm not seeing it. Weird. We also have potentilla. All this will be in bloom. Soon. And we do have wild rose. which ends up being rose hip, and you can go pick it. All right. Oh, and they call it meadow thistle. 
or Eaton's, we call it elk thistle, which is edible. It's kind of like once you clean it off, it's like, um, looks like celery. Not much of a taste, but yeah, I don't know. This is just a guide that probably isn't totally correct for what we have around here. And while we're at it, let's do the fish. Um, somebody gave me these. So, hold on. I should have got my tripod out. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you have the white fish? Can't say I've seen a paddlefish in Wyoming, but possible. I know we have the American shad. I do know we have salmon. And I think I am going to the fish hatchery soon. Intent, uh, story. Grayling. That is one beautiful fish. Now we have lots of those up here. That dorsal fin, which this won't do it justice, but the colors in it are amazing. You can see through them. Brook trout, one of my favorites. Lake trout, eh, okay. Same with bull trout and brown trout. But then we have a cutthroat. We actually have five kinds of cutthroat in Wyoming. And we also, the state has a thing where you can do what they call it the grand slam of the cutthroat. Yellow. Yellowstone cutthroat is what we have mostly around here. Guess they put them in there, but that's not what our state calls them, but oh well. Rainbow, fun to catch, but usually white meat. And I tend to like, oh, the golden trout. The golden trout is by far my favorite. The meat in it is almost red. It's so good. And I thought that red band one was a tiger. But like I said, this is totally different names than what we call them. We got a couple more on the back. By far, the um, most common trout in the bighorns is the rainbow, the cutthroat, the brook trout, and the browns. That's what you're going to see more than anything up here. And I have caught bluegills and sunfish and perch out at Lake DeSmit. And I am going to take you guys out to Lake DeSmit and show you the lake and hopefully I find some antelope out there. Crappies, yes, I've caught those. I've caught the pumpkins and the rock bass and smallmouth. I haven't ever caught a big largemouth in Wyoming. And the burbot. We call them ling. Those are good. They call them poor man's lobster. Very good. Caught sauger and walleye. And the perch. So, that's about it for the fish in Wyoming. And I will be doing a lot of trout fishing this summer. And I'll take you guys along if you're interested. I love catching brookies and cutthroats the most. Alright you guys, that's all I have for the flowers and fish around my area.